It's Tuesday, January 17th. Welcome to Pastor Bob Daily. Well, my friend Casey in the Philippines says, I have been struggling lately with the issue of being a Christian leader who wants to do evangelism and discipleship in the rock metal scene. I feel persecuted from others in the church, and I take it very personally. These people either hate the music or look down on those within these subcultures. I know that the Lord Jesus has called me to this ministry, but other leaders and potential financial partners may not see eye to eye with my vision and work. What do I need to do to move past this issue and complete the calling God has for me? Jesus was persecuted for reaching out to sinners and outcasts. I guess I need to accept that it's going to happen to me also. Right? Right. <laughs> Casey, you know, I appreciate your heart. And, uh, and I know Casey. He's a great guy. And he's got a strong calling on his life to be involved in the metal and the rock scene. But you know, folks, not everybody understands this ministry. This year is 40 years for me in pioneering in Christian rock and Christian metal. 40 years. And that whole time has been difficult in this area. People don't understand, especially at the beginning they didn't understand. And then as we travel to country, to country, to country, and begin to do new, um, uh, new festivals, there are always pastors and and uh, uh, Christian leaders who really don't understand what we're doing and feel the same way. And I've learned over the years that there's one important thing. I can disappoint all of those people, but I don't want to disappoint God. Casey and others like Casey out there, if you feel a strong calling to be involved in something that may be a bit controversial, don't let the controversy stop you. You know, years ago, if I would have let that happen, and I felt bad every time somebody attacked me, I'm not thick-skinned like some people appear to be, but I kept going just because I knew that I was doing what God asked me to do. And now 40 years later, I look back and I am excited at the ministry that's taken place. But Casey and others like you, you know, I'm 60 this year. That's old, isn't it? And I realize that I'm not going to live forever, and I'm excited also to see people like Casey and others who are coming along and continuing this kind of ministry. It's really important. And all of you like Casey, who have been fed and and encouraged by this style of music, and so many that have become Christians at concerts and, and festivals, you have to understand how important this ministry is. Don't let anybody stop you. You know, here's a great scripture that I love. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, and this is from the Message Bible. If you only look at us, you might well miss the brightness. We carry this precious message around in the unadorned clay pots of our ordinary lives. That's to prevent anyone from confusing God's incomparable power with us. As it is, there's not much chance of that. You know for yourselves that we're not much to look at. (laughs) We've been surrounded and battered by troubles, but we're not demoralized. We're not sure what to do, but we know that God knows what to do. We've been spiritually terrorized, but God hasn't left our side. We've been thrown down, but we haven't broken. What they did to Jesus, they do to us. Trial and torture mockery and murder. What Jesus did among them, he does in us. He lives. Our lives are at constant risk for Jesus' sake, which makes Jesus' life all the more evident in us. While we're going through the worst, you're getting in on the best. You see, that's where we stand. And Casey and others with this same question, don't ever be afraid to follow your heart and do what God's asked you to do. Now, what if nobody understands? What if you don't have any spiritual or financial backers? You keep going. If you've heard from God, and if there's a burden in your heart to do something important like this ministry, keep going. 
You know, I've never had spiritual backers. I never have. Even all the years that I was pastoring in the sanctuary church, I never took a salary. I've never really made money on the ministry, per se. I've always done something on the side to bring in finances. And Casey, you may have to do the same thing. And there are a lot of you that are just waiting for the finances to do something. Don't do that. You know, sometimes we want to be secure before we start something, but that isn't the way that God works. Sometimes he simply asks us to step out on faith and simply do what he's putting in our hearts to do. So if God has given you a vision today, do it. It may not be to heavy metal or, or rock people. It may be something totally different than this. But if he's given you a vision, don't you let people or finances or circumstances stop you. God will always provide a way. God bless you. Have a great day.